I've been using the stream deck now for a few months with my trading. We're going to take a closer deep dive into it and show you how I'm using it and give you some ideas to get started and how you could use it to make your trading easier. So there's different levels of complexity that you can use to program your stream deck. So this is the one that was on my desk that you saw. It's now the virtual environment. You can set up a whole bunch of different profiles and then these buttons all change to that profile. Just like this main button here actually switches profiles to a main one. So if I hit this button main, it's gonna switch all these buttons to updated macro. So maybe you might have it where um, the stream deck will automatically flip to the NT8 profile if you're in the NT8 application. But if you switch to something like Word, then it's going to have a whole bunch of new macros that you might be using in Word. Um, so it's up to you on how you want to organize yourself. But uh, this product itself uh, will range anywhere between, uh, let's just say roughly 100 and 300. I'll put some links uh, down below if you want to check out the actual prices, uh, depending on how many buttons you want. I mean, look, if you can do the, the bigger one, the extra large is what they call it. Now you do find it convenient being able to spread buttons out and, and have spaces. The smallest one is just going to be six of these. But anyways, um, to show you how to program this, uh, there's different levels of complexity and we'll be using the hotkey item here as well as the hotkey switch, which is another one. So for example, uh, enable alerts we'll have one that will enable it, but we'll also have one that disables it. So as I press it, it will switch and it will toggle the two hotkeys where something like buy is just going to perform that one function. So the way that we do this is in Ninja Trader, you go to tools and hotkeys, you go down to your order entry and underneath your buy market, you would have a recorded keystroke. That's your hotkey. Okay. You press control alt a, and then that would um, buy the market. But trying to remember all of these hotkeys can be difficult, right? Especially when you use quite a few of them. So inside your stream deck, we created a little icon called it by, and we put the same hotkey associated to it, control a. So the stream deck's going to press control a for you and Ninja Trader is going to go, Oh, that's the hockey to buy the market. Let's buy the market. And it would do that. So that's a very useful function. Um, another way that you can use it is let's just say you want to change the time frame. Right. Instead of going to uh, your charts and, and scrolling up at the top and picking your time frame. I mean, yes, it's possible. You can do that. You can also just hit a button that will change it from a 60 minute or down to a 100 tick or, you know, up to a weekly chart. And it's nice to have that flexibility of having different time frames to be able to be selected with the push of a button. Um, another way that you can do it, which is kind of getting a little bit more complex, is you can uh take for example here i'll go up one um i'm just trying to think of a okay this would be a good example the capture you can see that there's two actions right uh so the two actions for this is going to be the screenshot which is alt s by default and the trader has that there as a screenshot so you can just put that in there alt s it's going to do a capture and then it's going to do one called Control Alt D. Now that is not in Ninja Trader. In fact, um, Control Alt D uh, is primarily set uh, to decrease the last order, which is what I have up here. Um, you can make this whatever you want, like let's just say Control Alt E or whatever. But the point is, is I use a program called Auto Hotkeys. Now Auto Hotkeys is you can think of a script that will run. Uh, a whole bunch of more specific things that you might want it to do. So for example, control alt D for me is actually going to, uh, once the screenshot's taken, find the right folder. It's going to rename the file to a certain date time stamp, and then it's going to save the file. And then it's going to open up file explorer in the location that I told it to save it. And it's going to do that all with one push of a button. So it takes the image. This is what I would see is it takes the image. And then it shows me the file explorer with the image right there, all ready for me to do something with it. And then most of the time I'm uploading that to our community. Uh, maybe you might be posting it to Facebook. Maybe you have a button that just says Facebook and it just, you push the button and your, your chart goes right to Facebook or whatever you want it to do. A lot of what you can do with the stream deck is not, um, 
limited by what it can do, but what you are creatively thinking that it can do. So there's very little that it that can't be done, let's just say using the Stream Deck. Um, you don't need Ninja Trader to integrate with the Stream Deck in order to do all this stuff. You're just going to be using a bunch of hotkeys. And even if there isn't a hotkey that Ninja Trader has, you can then use something like Auto Hotkey to do that function for you. Um, so it's very uh, detailed. Um, you can really go down a rabbit hole on what you can do creativity wise. But it is uh, something that I definitely plan on using and, and plan to keep using. Um, just so you know that I bought the Stream Deck. Uh, it wasn't given to us. We weren't asked to do any review or paid to do any review. This is just my own opinion of tech I like to use with my trading. And, and this is definitely up there on the list where, you know, because of the whole uh, coronavirus stuff that's going on right now, nobody's really traveling. I haven't had to use my laptop to, to enter orders or anything like that. But I know without having to go through that, I am going to miss not having my stream deck. So that's going to be something I'm going to have to decide if I want to put in that, that carry on bag with me, but it, it's making its case of, of definitely something that would be useful. So um, if you do have the ability to look at that, I would definitely do that. I'll put some links into the different models below. And if you have any questions about using the stream deck with a Ninja Trader or the different things that you can do, um, by all means, let me know. Uh, I find having the drawing tools really useful having the symbols that i most commonly trade uh, being very useful as well as uh, the time frames being extremely useful so um, you can also have buttons that will let's just say minimize all your ninja trader windows um, you can have buttons uh, that turn on and off audio for the ninja trader application for instance so there's a lot of stuff that you can do with it um, mute buttons stuff like that that you might use if you're on skype a lot of the time or making phone calls uh but yeah if you have any questions about write them in the comments below and we will see you guys in the next video